Hey everyone, I went thrifting today, so I have a thrift haul. Uh, it's pretty big. I got a lot of stuff. I'm going to be putting um, some stuff up between today and tomorrow in my store. So um, that's really exciting for you guys, I hope. Um, and if you haven't checked out my store, I'll link it down below. It's um, lionwitchbrookswardrobe.tumblr.com And you can follow my personal Tumblr and you can like my Facebook if you love me. Or if you just like me, you don't even have to love me, you know. But I'm just going to jump right into it because I did get quite a bunch of stuff. Not all of it was from today, but uh, I only got a few things before today, so I'm just going to throw those in there. Um, I'll just start with those first. The first thing I got is this lace tank top. And it's a button down, and it's just really feminine and um, summery, so... I got this. I don't remember the pricing because uh, I already took the tags off and washed them. This next shirt is uh, another tank top and it's just floral and it has a really unique neckline. It's kind of like sweetheart but tank top at the same time so I just thought this was really cute. This might go up in my store. Um, if anyone wants this, then let me know in the comments and I'll put it up. I might put it up anyways, but I might not. I'm still thinking about it. Same with that lace shirt. So, um, Next is this denim vest. I finally found one that um, I've been looking everywhere for these. Well, they're not that hard to find, but just ones that I like. And I found this um, like last week. And... I like the wash and I like how it's really light denim and I like how it has studding. So this is the back. So I just got that. And then I got these high waisted shorts. Which it's really hard for me to find high waisted shorts that fit me. This is the last thing I got before today and I am in love with this. It is the cutest thing. If you follow my Facebook, you probably have seen this. It's a romper slash dress. It looks like a dress. It's very 50s inspired. Um, it's like a bright 50s like siren red color and white like little polka dot things. And it looks like a dress, but if you lift up the dress part, it's actually a romper. And I just love this. It fits so nicely. It gives me like a really nice silhouette and I just, this is my, probably my new favorite piece of clothes. The rest of the stuff is all from today. And I got some pretty neat stuff, so um, I, I was pretty happy about today. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this romper. The sleeves are inside out because I tried it on. But it is, it looks like a dress but it's actually a romper and it has a really really nice like chiffon sheer floral um, sleeve their long sleeve floral and then the collar which actually goes in back like that and then it ties right here and then it ties right here into a little bow or a knot or whatever you want to do and this is a really unique piece um, even the buttons are made out of the same chiffon material. You can see that. And I will definitely do a lookbook when I get back from my trip from for a week and a half. Um, I leave Friday, but I'll definitely do a lookbook because some of these pieces you just have to see on in order to get the full effect. So I will be featuring this one definitely in the lookbook. I just love this. It was a very unique and it was really cheap too. And it has a tie in the back. So, I don't know, just the detailing on it is amazing and it's a little bit more modest but I don't really care I'm gonna wear it anyways this next piece that I got is just a floral kind of summery tank top and it's really pretty light like baby pastel colors and um, it has a really pretty neckline and the buttons are really cute too they're just uh, these little like white buttons there you go so I don't know I just thought this was really cute and summery so I just bought that and it was only two dollars I think now this is going up in my store 
I just mentioned how I was looking for a denim vest and I found one. Well, I found another one today that was really cute, but I figured I don't need two, so I was going to sell this one to um, someone in my store. It has really cute detailing. Um, the buttons are all different. I don't know if you can see, but they all have like a different shape or design. And it just has this little floral collar, which I think is absolutely adorable. And the same floral trim around like the chest area. And this it goes around the back too. So I think it is the cutest thing, but I am going to be putting this up at my store because, like I just said, I have my own. Um, and this is adorable, so one of you lucky girls can buy this. And then I also, this is a very interesting piece. It's um, really, like, tight. It's form-fitting, and it has, like, a long zipper in the back. And it's kind of, it's pretty 80s. And it has, like, these bows going down the middle. And I just think it's a really unique shirt, and it's really form-fitting and, like, I don't know, just pretty. It'll make you stand out. If you wear this with, like, black jeans or something like that, then I think it would really pop. Next, I bought these black jeans. I'm going to be cutting into high-waisted shorts. Um, I don't know if they're going to be up in my store or not. I've been looking for a pair of high-waisted shorts um, that are in black, but uh, I haven't tried these on, so if they fit me, I'm definitely keeping them just because I bought them for me. But if they don't, then I will put them up in my store. I'm missing... Um, my nail polish came off, so I, did, I forgot to redo that before I filmed, but oh well. This next pair of pants, um, I think it will be really cute as shorts. They're high-waisted, and they're just this, like, kind of checker pattern. It kind of looks like picnic table pattern, if that makes sense. Or maybe it just makes sense in my mind. But it fits me really nicely on my waist. It hits me in the perfect spot. So um, I'm going to cut these and see how they look. Hopefully they're okay. If not, they weren't that much anyway. This next piece I bought for the store. Once again, one of you can buy this. Um... It is a really pretty floral button-up, and it's Ralph Lauren. Let's see, It's a medium, obviously. And it's a really, like, pretty muted, um, dull blue uh, with these pretty dusty rose flowers. And they have purple ones and stuff. And I just think it's really feminine and light and, like, perfect for summer. And I love this shirt. But I have so many of these that I cannot put another one in my closet, so I'm going to be putting this in my store. Next I got this um, satin gold and black shirt. It's a tank top with um, little black flowers all over it. It's really, really delicate and really classic looking, and I think it would look really good tucked into something. Um, maybe a high-waisted black skirt or something like that. Um, it's just a really pretty pattern and a really pretty material and it has the little O in back. So I thought that was unique. This is probably, this and the last thing I'm gonna, well the next thing I'm gonna show you are probably my favorite things that I got. I found this really gorgeous lace navy blue blazer. I will actually try this on for you because it fits so nicely. So it just looks like this. And you can button it all down the front. And it fits so nicely in back. It's extremely tailored, like, perfectly to the body. And it's just, I think, I've never seen something like this. Like, with the lace in the middle of the chest and, like, the torso area. I don't know. It's just a very unique piece. And the way, even the buttons are gorgeous. They look like little vintage earrings. But, I don't know. I just, I love this blazer. I can't believe I found it. Um, so I had to get that. And then last for clothes, this, I couldn't believe not only that I found it, but that it fits me because I'm a little more chesty, but I finally found a bustier that is adorable. It's kind of like a denim material, but, um, a floral pattern with like a cream colored background and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And that's the back. 
So I fell in love with this. It was $1. I cannot believe I found it. Like seriously, I had such a good day for unique, unique finds. And I'm so happy with this piece. Um, so yeah, this, and it's kind of, it has a little bit of wire in, in, it, in it like for the corset feel. So I love that. One pair of shoes and one purse. That's all I got. Uh, and these are the first things I actually found today. They are brown, kind of like woven loafers, and I just think they're really cute. I know I kind of... So I got these for $3, I think, at Goodwill. And then last but not least, I found this purse that is the most unique thing I've ever seen. Um, it's kind of like a, like a cloth material, kind of, and it's flowers everywhere. And then it has this like snakeskin leather detailing um, on the sides and then the clip in front is like this really pretty um, metal stud. And then inside it just looks like that. I almost forgot from the previous thrift uh, outing that I had, I bought this kind of like satchel bag. It um, has one big strap and it looks like this. The only thing about this is that it smells a little bit. It doesn't have the nicest smell, but um, I will drown it in rubbing alcohol. I wiped it down, but I didn't really um, like thoroughly with a lot of rubbing alcohol, just like one drenched cotton ball. But I will have to wipe this down to get rid of that smell. And um, I know that's a little bit gross, but it's really clean inside. It's just some weird smell, so I don't know. Maybe it's just the material. That's what it smells like. Um, afterwards but yeah I got this a while ago too so now that's all that I got and um, I hope you enjoyed uh, oh one more thing that I have to mention that I forgot to mention last time I don't know if any of you have heard of Pottermore but for any of you Harry Potter fans out there um, it is a crazy new website that JK Rowling uh, created for Harry Potter fans because everybody wanted more obviously than and the movies ended so she created this site called Pottermore and basically I, I'm not really sure what it is she hasn't really went into it that much but it's kind of like you interact at Hogwarts you're part of the wizard community whatever she's like letting a million people pre-register the site opens to the public in October but She's letting one million people do it this week only. So basically what you have to do is you have to... I'm not going to explain all the rules and how to enter and register. You pretty much have to solve a clue, then find a quill, and then register and all this stuff. It's like a whole process, but it's pretty fun. And the only thing that sucks is you're going to have to wait, like, really wait up for it, to the clue to come up. Because people fill up the spots in an hour probably so if you miss that one hour you're not going to get in and you're going to have to wait till the next day and I believe it's on it's like fourth fourth day I think and there's only seven so check it out look at her website read the FAQs and all that stuff um or if you have joined let me know down below what your username is I think mine is like magic lupin or something I don't know it was really lame but my boyfriend got blood magic which I was so jealous about I wanted a really badass name but Oh well, I got Magic Lupin. It's not the worst, so let me know what your names are, and um, I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul, and I'll see you in a week and a half.